Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Oh my god, are they okay? So today is tomorrow, and boys, we got ourselves a nice little piece of news today. We got ourselves a train derailment. I know. After the past few weeks, I, this is actually one of the highlights, all right, boys? We got to take them in stride. So a small YouTuber, train spotter, I think you know the uh, mentality that this person lives within, all right? They love themselves some trains. They live for trains, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. Trains are cool, all right? I can say that. Trains are cool. But this person took their obsession with trains to a whole nother level because they no longer just wanted to film trains and, you know, make educational contents on them. They wanted a viral video on trains. So the teenager, oh yeah, I was afraid to tell you, this is a literal minor who did this. I think he was 17, so, you know, he's right there on the cusp of going to real man's jail. Decided, you know what, I'ma just, you know, try my best to stage some content. There's nothing wrong with staging content, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. Anything for views at this point. I'm like, he only had like, what, 600 subscribers at the time? So it's not that bad to, you know, stay some content to get your name out there. You know, anything for virality. Just as long as you, you know, continue producing great content. That's the only thing YouTube cares about. So instead of this person making a scripted, you know, video, you know, putting in high production, you know, going out there, filming a lot of trains, teaching us about the trains, really putting it together, real thought provoking piece. This person decided to instead just make sure this multi-ton vehicle runs into another multi-ton cart. So all this happened on April the 21st, whenever this 17-year-old train YouTuber, you know, admirable train YouTuber at that, you know, we don't have too many of you boys. <laughs> all right, we need more train YouTubers out here telling us about uh, how the trains work and stuff. But yeah. This YouTuber decided to go out and film a derailment. Now, there's nothing wrong with filming crimes that happen and then posting them on YouTube hoping to go viral with them. There's another thing whenever you're the one that actually committed the crime. So what is said is that this YouTuber, he went to the train yard. He saw where you're able to switch the tracks where, you know, there's like two different tracks. So if you want to go one way, you switch the track one way. If you want to go another way, you switch the track another way. You guys know you, you guys know the whole cartoon of like Wiley e. Coyote and stuff, switching tracks and stuff. So instead of him leaving it alone where you're allowed to like switch the tracks, you know, the train conductors and stuff, the people that are actually professionals, instead of him leaving it alone and just filming the train, he decided this would make for a really viral video right now if I just switched the track and allowed the train to run into a coal cart that was sitting on one of the other tracks. So obviously the kid trying to get his attention went up to the investigators whenever they got there and essentially asked, what happened? What, what happened? Yo, this is really bad. Someone could have got hurt, you know, running a train into an empty coal cart. So the investigator literally just getting to the scene and investigating, doing his job, was like, I don't know. I don't know, kid. That is <laughs> train ran into a cart, you know, one hell of a thing. And then the kid, instead of him being like, mm, maybe this is my time to make my great escape, he decided, I'll just tell him what happened. It looks like there was a derailment and someone switched the tracks. Perfect investigation skills. I'm just saying, if this kid did not actually have evidence of him uh, <laughs> committing the crime, uh, I would say he should be a trained investigator. It seems like he just had the foresight. You know, he he was, you know, just shuffling a deck of tarot cards. Like, well, I pulled out the derailment card. It's like, how did you know that the whole thing switched? It's like, the, the, the investigator's like, uh, how did you know? I just got here, and I've been investigating this, and you, quote-unquote, just got here. So, as the investigator continued to investigate, obviously with the uh, tarot car shuffler himself, you know, the kid that knew exactly what happened, he went over to check the switch, and who would have known the padlock on the switch is gone, missing. It was there yesterday. Why isn't it here today? So, obviously, seeing that the switch was tampered with, the investigator had to continue investigating. So three days later, he was able to get the security camera footage at the switch. And lo and behold, guess who was there near the switch before <laughs> the train derailment with the tripod? Hmm, 
He, he really wanted to get a good shot of these trains. Now, obviously, the kid was further investigated into whenever the security camera footage showed that he was there four minutes before the train derailment with a tripod. And on top of that, he somehow knew that the padlock... Well, he didn't know, quote unquote, that the padlock was broken, but, you know, he alluded to the switch being tampered with. So it's kind of weird that someone that didn't know what happened somehow comes out with a plausible answer that became the real answer and now has somehow the only footage of the train derailment in 4K, by the way. This kid recorded his crime in 4K. <laughs> Somehow he's the only one with this information. So obviously the kid got caught, he got arrested, they took the footage and you know they're looking over and stuff and he essentially has done over $350,000 in damages for a YouTube video that even if it did go viral, maybe might make $100,000 and that's like Mr. Beast go viral. This isn't just like oh you know it hit a million views i'm about to just pay it off no you have to hit like 200 300 million views on this video before you can at least pay off the debt <laughs> that you would owe towards this company that you like wrecked their train obviously i don't even understand what this kid's whole thing was like if he wanted a viral video just go actually write some content like you can write a viral video probably especially on trains not too many people are doing content on trains like trust me a lot of us may make fun of train people for like geeking out over trains you know being train perverts but at the end of the day they are cool pieces of machinery and if you write an in-depth detail like video on it that has some good animation work or you know just some good video to overlay over like the voiceover or something you can have a viral hit but instead he decided how about I cause havoc and potentially put people's lives in danger? I'm pretty sure this kid is facing up to 10 years in prison, so that's pretty sad. I'm gonna be honest, he's young, dumb. I believe he deserves a second chance, but also, I mean, like, you kind of messed up really, really bad. Like, this isn't just like, oh, I did something, and, you know, for the most part, the person re can recover, like, it wasn't financial. Like, it's one thing if you, like, said something you shouldn't have said or done something you shouldn't have done it's another thing whenever you like financially like crippling people <laughs> right you can recover from some words you should have said you can't recover from like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars well i'm sure a multi-million if not billion dollar company can but still you know what i mean like you financially hurt this company like obviously they're gonna try their best to throw the book at you because you know they want their money back or <laughs> you're sitting in jail for an equal amount of time but I hope this kid learns a valuable life lesson. You know, he's young. Hopefully he learns, hey, don't mess with people. Just like how I hope Mr. T Lexify learns, hey, don't be a pay pig. Look in this video right here, boys. Find out what did Mr. T Lexify do. But other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, boys. And I'll see you all tomorrow.